I've been working on this dolly the last couple days. It seems like uh, forever. <laughs> I made my own rails for this and um, bent up this tray. I had to put some little dents in it there to clear the bags. There was a little battery tray. I'm not sure if Chris is going to run a 7.2 battery on this or if he's got lipos or what the deal is, but it will fit one in there. It's a snug fit. But it will fit in there. And even with this, there's a bit of space to um, hopefully mount some more goodies if need be. Just going to control the rear trailer by infrared on the gravel train here. So, anyway, I needed, we got this, he's got this fancy little hitch that he sent me, which is from Germany, I believe. And uh, obviously it's going to be on the front trailer and then the uh, rear trailer needs to keep the drawbar up in the air in a sort of a neutral position. So I had to machine all these goodies and make some torsion springs from there so that it does go up and down if you go over any amount of terrain or whatever and all that. And then this clips on there, actually works, slick. But um, yeah, and then he's going to have a servo on the back of the first trailer to be able to pull that off. And so it should work out pretty good. But it's been a lot of fiddling around. It took me uh, <laughs> several hours today to machine these couple parts and make the springs. And then, of course, I had to make, the, make my own eye for the front because I didn't have anything like that. So a three millimeter bolt got welded onto a piece I turned in the lathe. So uh, yeah. Coming along though, hopefully have the two of them together tomorrow.